What happens after play in the swinging lifestyle? Hey, I'm Bella. I'm Jace. And welcome back to the 4Play channel. Before we get to today's video, make sure you leave this video a like, subscribe so you never see post a video, and then if you guys have any questions about this video or any other videos you want to see from us in the future, make sure to drop those down below. <laughs> So this question actually came from a YouTube comment that we got and we really wanted to film this video and it's what happens after play in the swinging lifestyle? Is it awkward? Is it weird? Like what is it like? So we're going to break it down for you. First, just know that this is going to vary from couple to couple. It's also going to vary from different play styles or different places where you are playing. Our video is going to be more about group play sessions and what happens after group play. So we're going to start with the situation that you're at a club. This is going to be pretty much what it would be like in any other situation. You're just going to have a normal conversation. So the biggest thing is you are playing at a club. We always like to kind of leave that room as quickly as we finish. That way, if other people are wanting to play afterwards, the people, you know, can get the sheets changed, everything all cleaned up so that that room is available for more people. So we normally move our conversation outside of the playrooms into, you know, a seating area or stand and talk or whatever it is. Usually after playing in a playroom at a club, everybody will get their belongings or all the clothes that they came in with. Just make sure you're checking around because you don't want to leave anything there. And then another couple or whoever comes in and starts playing in that same space and the other people can't go in. You can't go and get your stuff. So just make sure you pick all of your stuff up. So what does like the conversation go like? Obviously it's gonna vary all the time, but for us we've noticed that the conversation can be either very vanilla or it can be about the session that just happened and, and those hot things that happened about play. But we feel like for us, the closer we are with a couple, the better like friends we have, the better connection we have, we feel like the conversation tends to go more vanilla. And if the people that we played with, maybe we are not quite as close, I feel like those conversations tend to talk a little bit more about play, but it can definitely be either one for either situation. Depending on what time everybody finishes playing, if it's earlier in the night, maybe you guys go, either you can stay together and just kind of go and dance, or maybe sometimes you as a couple will both go your separate ways. Sometimes you can meet even more people. So again, it just depends. Usually if it's at the end of the night though, after everybody has all their stuff together, and you say your goodbyes and you give like a little kiss on the cheek or a little kiss on the lips or whatever it is and then both couples just kind of head out and do their own thing on a cruise or a resort what we've noticed is because they normally have late night foods after we played with a couple the most normal thing that happened for us we went and got food together and so you'll just kind of sit there you know you'll have your meal same thing sometimes the conversation is a little bit more about play centered but i feel like in those situations where you're all eating together it tends to just be about maybe something at the resort or vanilla things. When it comes to house parties or maybe you're hosting or maybe you're at somebody's place, typically everybody will go get water together or go get maybe a snack if there's something available there. Again, all of it usually just ends with if everybody finishes at the same time or when everybody is finished, then you all kind of gather all of your things if you're not going for like a round two or three. <laughs> Sometimes even if you are gonna go for a round two or three, you kind of take a break, like almost an intermission, you can yeah. kind of say and then you can go back and then play more or after that then you kind of go your separate ways maybe you guys both say bye to each other maybe you hang out and chill on the couch and maybe watch tv or watch some youtube videos we've done that before too mm -hmm. it all depends on how comfortable you are with people i think what most people think is if they're hosting that they have to almost coddle like the other couple in a sense and definitely don't feel like you have to do that just think of it as like if you were having a dinner party or something or if you were having just friends over in general a question that we get asked all the time is is it awkward if somebody finishes first or if a couple finishes first or what if you finish first and you're with the other partner and then your partner and their partner aren't done yet so in that situation it's actually not awkward at all usually what happens is if a couple finishes together whether that be you and your own partner or swapped usually that couple whoever that is will either watch and just kind of like hang out. Sometimes one person in there will go get drinks for everybody else. Maybe they'll come in with some waters. It sounds awkward to be done and just kind of see what's going on and just watching, but it really isn't. It's actually pretty 
sexy. Depending on everybody's play styles, it's also normal for one person to go in and join the other people. Again, that's gonna depend on everybody's rules and boundaries, but that also happens a lot. So say one of the guys is finished and then there's two bi girls, usually one of the girls who all finished with him will go in and join and do like a little three session <laughs> for a little bit and just kind of help out until the other people are also done. And so again, it just all varies, but it's not weird at all to either watch, join in, go do something else, come back. So we're gonna talk about aftercare next, and that basically is just the idea of what you need after a session, and that could be for your mental health or you just for your well-being in general. If I get the swinging lifestyle, it's different than in the BDSM and kink space. People that go into these very like dom and sub head spaces, lots of time really need a lot of aftercare and you need to get out of that headspace back into a normal headspace or your typical daily headspace and so in the swinging lifestyle we feel like as a whole group you don't have as much aftercare but your aftercare tends to be more with your partner after you leave that group situation. Again, this is going to vary from couple to couple. For us personally, what we need for our aftercare is after everybody is gone, we cuddle a lot, we reconnect. If we have enough time and there's not like super late in the night, we'll talk about what happened. Typically though, whenever we do play, it's like pretty late and then we're tired. And so then we'll usually talk about that the next day. But our aftercare leads into the next day, into like pretty much the following week. So we'll feel very connected to each mm -hmm. other, We'll have a very like intense, deep conversations in general about what happened and just reminiscing on the sexy parts. This hasn't happened to us personally, but if there is somebody who needs some type of group aftercare, because the swinging lifestyle is more couples to couples and they kind of stick together when it comes to that, I do feel like that would probably lead more into a poly or different type of open relationships. But if you are the type of person who does need aftercare from everybody in the group, just make sure that you say that before so everybody is aware and everybody knows what they can do or if you guys wouldn't be a play match in general to begin with so just know your own rules know your own boundaries and then make sure to express that to other people a unique boundary that jace and i have is we don't cuddle with other people afterwards we find that too intimate we find that very uncomfortable to do and so while that might seem like normal aftercare it's something that we always make sure we say in as part of our rules before everybody starts playing. The last thing we're gonna talk about is texting or communication like the next day or that night or whatever it is. And the most typical thing I feel like we'll see is after a session, you know, you might wake up the next morning and just text that person. It usually is a very casual thing. So you might send a text along the lines of, hey, last night was so much fun. We had such a good time. Something easy and simple just to let the people know that, you know, it was enjoyable for everybody there. You can also just end it with like, hope you guys have a great week or a great day or whatever it is. Don't feel the need to continue to text or to try to make extra conversation. It's not necessary. It's not like in the normal dating world where maybe you're trying to impress that person or you're trying to get to know them extremely, extremely well because you want to date them. It's kind of a different situation there. So we feel like just a little text that says, you know, it was a great night really suffices. Also with the opposite of that is don't feel like just because a couple hasn't been reaching out a lot like that, that they are not interested or doesn't like you anymore. So I know in the past, like we've gotten into our own heads about it, yeah. about this like afterwards etiquette. And it's like, oh, like, do we need to keep talking? Do we need to keep texting? Do we need to keep this going? Cause we want to let them know that we're still interested and we hope that they are still interested. But I think that's just a lot of overthinking. Yeah. So definitely just don't overthink, send a quick text message and be on your way and we think that that suffices for etiquette so that is it for this video hope that gives you guys some sort of insight into what it's like after play kind of whenever you finish first just all the different scenarios and said remember it always is going to vary it's going to be different every single time but as a general rule that's kind of how things flow so i said hopefully that helped out a lot so thank you guys so much for watching leave this video a like it really helps us out subscribe so never we post a video and then if you guys have any questions about this or maybe there's something that we forgot that you want to talk about drop that in the comments down below and we will talk to you guys in the next one bye send a quick test next send a quick test <laughs> send a quick test oh my god Send a quick test. Oh my God.